Good morning, TCTC, and I'm your host, Pierre Arnold, and welcome back to another episode of TCTC Time. Remember, juniors, your last day for school photos will be October 14th, so make sure to get those in. Now, here are some MacBook tips from Mr. Fowdy. Hello, TCTC students and staff. I'm here today to show you a few tips and tricks for your MacBook. So if you're in web and app development, interactive multimedia, or visual design and imaging, this video is just for you. So what we're gonna look at today are some of the handy features of your trackpad. So in order to adjust those and take a look at them, first thing I need to do is get to my system preferences. But let me give you a little background on the Mac. The Mac has a tradition of using the keyboard to get as much done as possible. That way you're not lifting your hands off the keyboard. When you don't have to lift your hands off the keyboard, you will be more productive. So let's go ahead and open system preferences. The fastest way to open any app on a Mac is to command spacebar, and this brings up Spotlight Search. So I type SYS, System Preferences comes up, I hit the return key, and I'm there. So now, right here, I want the trackpad. And there are all kinds of gestures here for the trackpad. And what I want you to pay close attention to is this little video. So for whatever you want to do, there's a video demonstrating the different things you can do with that, whether it's data detectors or whatever. So the first thing I want to take a look at is secondary click. So also known as right click, you can choose. So I use two fingers. Anytime I do a two finger click on my trackpad, it brings up the right click or secondary click. But you can change that. You can have it with click with two fingers, click in the bottom right hand corner or click in the bottom left corner. You can choose your click sensitivity, whether you want it to be light, medium, or firm, and your trackpad speed. Now, your new trackpad, even though it says to click, actually, it's not actually moving. There is no real click. Try clicking your iPad with your MacBook off. It is a haptic sensor, and if you're really interested about that, I'd be happy to tell you all about it. You can see me at your lunch. Let's go over to scroll and zoom. You have scroll direction. You can choose scroll direction. So natural means just like it would be on an iOS device. So since I'm older, I'm used to computers scrolling in a certain direction. So I'm not going, I don't use natural scrolling, but it might feel very natural to you since you've grown up with touch devices. Zoom in and out. You can zoom in and out of any app just by pinching. Smart zoom is a nice feature. If you double tap, it'll zoom in where the cursor is located. Let's go to more gestures. So this swipe between pages, when you're in an app or in a browser, two fingers will let you swipe back and forth rather than going up to the back and forth keys in the browser bar. You can swipe between full screen apps or spaces with a three finger swipe left or right. So on my Mac, I have multiple desktops, so I can swipe back and forth to get between those desktops. Mission Control. So Mission Control shows all your open apps in a desktop or just in general, and that is a three finger swipe up. So on this desktop, I don't have any other apps, but I'm swiping up, I can bring up my different desktops here at the top are shown. I don't have any other open apps. If I did, they would all hover here and I can pick which app to switch to. Launchpad is something that makes your Mac kind of look like an iPad. And the way to activate that is to take your thumb and three fingers and pinch in. So just like that, you see my apps and there are my apps after pinching in. And I can click anywhere on the screen to pick after I pick an app or just click anywhere else, and get out of Launchpad. These are some of the handy features in Mac OS for your trackpad. If you have any specific questions or need help with your trackpad or setting up your Mac, please feel free to see me during your lunch period. Thanks for watching. Thank you for those tips, Mr. Fowdy. Now here are some Google Classroom tips. Here are some basics to using Google Classroom. If you want to check your assignments, go to Classwork. Then go to the figure at the top right of your screen. Here you will see whether your assignments are missing or not. You will get emails if you have new assignments, so make sure you're up to date on all your grades. 
The October Student of the Month nominees were released last week. How about we get to know some of them? First, here's Gianna. Hi, my name is Gianna Travaglino and my home school is Lakeview High School. I'm in the Senior Visual Design and Imaging program and I was nominated by my program teacher, Mrs. Hickey, for the Student of the Month. Hi, my name is Mrs. Hickey. I'm the Visual Design and Imaging instructor here at TCTC. I nominated Gianna for the Student of the Month. During quarantine, when everything shut down last year, Gianna was on top of it. She was always emailing, communicating, asking what needed done, completing it, and actually helping try stuff out that I would send out to students. My favorite thing about my program is the hands-on experience and the credentials I gained throughout the two years of being at CCDC. I have the ability to have a Adobe Associates certification in Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign. My program right now, I'm working on Project 5 for Illustrator. Uh, I have to use Brain Buffet software to follow along and hopefully get my Illustrator certification. I just want to say thank you, Mrs. Hick, for nominating me to be the student of the month. Congratulations, Gianna. Next, here's Brianna. My name is Brianne Beringer. I am from Girard. I am in Animal Science, Health and Technology, and I am a senior. I chose my lab because for a long time I have been in love with animals and since I was a little girl I wanted to become a veterinarian. So when this opportunity came around, I thought I might as well take it. I want to thank my teacher, Mrs. Billock, for nominating me. My name is Mrs. Billock. I am the Animal Science Health and Technology Instructor. Brianna is a very hardworking uh, when she gets home on her work that she needs to do, whether it be on this hybrid learning. She does, completes it, completes it on time, turns it in for all of her academics as well as my program. Once again, once again, congratulations to you both. There have been some changes to some of the labs here at TCTC. So here's what's new in pre-nursing. When I think about how long the remodel of the pre-nursing lab took, I think back to the, one of the first conversations that we had was about adding a phlebotomy course. A lot of the equipment was outdated. The colors were outdated, so that's why the room needed remodeled. It just, it needed a new, fresh look, and we needed some new equipment to be put in here. Colors then, of course, came to my mind, and I thought if we have to take the carpeting out to add phlebotomy, we need to talk about remodeling the room and changing the color scheme and definitely making it look more modern. I have new tables and new chairs that are easier to move around when I need more space in the room. The new colors are a little bit more soothing and, and easier on the eyes in a better learning environment for my students. Well, that's all for today's episode of TCTC Town. And as always, I'm your host, Pierre Arnold. And always remember, wear your mask. On the next episode of TCTC Time, tune in when Animal Science shows us how to properly take care of a guinea pig. Then you will see some of the new features in the Web Design Lab. And finally, we'll be interviewing two more students of the month.